In this video, I travel to Belfast to try the most viral pizza in the UK, as well as go on a pub tour to find the best Guinness in the city with a few food reviews in there for good measure. I always think Belfast is one of the most underrated cities I've been to. The food scene is incredible here, with one place in particular that stands out above the rest. Hello everyone, um, I, I'm in Belfast. I missed my flight today, so I should have been here a lot earlier. So we're sort of four hours late, but I'm here finally arrived and uh, it's mainly for work really rather than like vlogging but I'm obviously gonna try and get a bit of food done so it's not a full-on city guide but I hope you enjoy this Belfast mini vlog. Last time I was here I had some wonderful Guinness uh, and some of the best was from a place called Bittles Bar so I'm walking and braving the cold to go there for a couple of pints of Guinness and then I'm gonna go see my mate Pete at Flout Pizza um, who do genuinely the best pizzas in the UK. If not, even further afield than that. They're fucking phenomenal. The guy's a scientist when it comes to dough. So I'm really looking forward to showing you that place. First on the agenda, we are gonna smash some pints of Guinness. Bittles Bar is often touted as the best pint in the city, and it's easy to see why it's so highly rated. The owner, John Bittles, has been here for 30 years and is notoriously miserable. He was criticised a few years ago for not serving someone a Coke, and while he might be a bit of a bad vibe, the pint does taste delicious and it was £5.60. There he is, the beaming ray of sunshine. It's worth coming for one or two, but for me there are so many better, friendlier pubs across the city to grab a pint in. We have just... We? I have just had um, a couple of pints of Guinness in Bittles, which is fantastic. Last time I was in there, I uh, spilt my pint and it smashed on the floor and then they had to clean it up. Uh, this time I was a bit more uh, careful and I'm very, very pleased that uh, I've got a bit of Guinness in my system because I feel like fucking fueled. I feel good, I feel fantastic. And now I'm at Flau. This fucking place. The main man himself here. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Just gone across the road to get a get a bevy, and uh, now we're gonna have some some pizza. So I've got a curry chip Detroit style, which has got a chip shop curry sauce. The uh, little so I want your feedback on that. Yeah. And yeah. We've got some uh, pickled peas, like little. Just garden peas that we put in the milk when you're pickled, put on top. Fucking oh, okay, no. hell. Uh, with potatoes and the Detroit base. And then we've got tavern style, Chicago style, real super thin one. It's going to be buffalo cauliflower if you're up for that. Up for anything. I like the real crispiness of that one. And then, yeah, I've got some New York dough as well. So just make some pizza. We're just going to have a nice time and eat a load of pizza. Flout has been making waves online for a few years now. I was lucky enough to try it last year and I needed to come back and actually get it on the channel. Pete is one of the friendliest blokes you'll ever meet and during service there is always a huge queue of people getting served a wide array of slices. There's a staple of Detroit style with pepperoni or without and usually a variety of other pizzas being made. Today there was a thin and crispy buffalo cauliflower on the menu, as well as one with chips, peas and curry sauce, not traditional by any means. But Pete doesn't follow the rules, in fact this restaurant was built purely on that concept. He'll decide some of what he wants to make on the day, he'll make it better than anyone ever could with the best ingredients possible and then he'll sell it to the hordes of people who are regulars here. You've just got to trust him and it works. First up was the chipper with house made curry sauce, chips and pickled peas. This is why the place is the fucking best. This place is very, very special. If you're in Belfast and you don't come here, then you're a fucking idiot. This one is about 10 days old at this point. So it's um, all organic, all sourdough, super, super thin. So it's the crispiest, thinnest that we can make it. 
and uh, a bit excited to get a really Christmas feel. So, again, it goes back to beer. So it's Chicago style, tavern style. So on the bar, trying to get you to drink more beer, little crispy squares to, so yeah, I thought of you whenever we were. <laughs> Buffalo cauliflower. So yep. we go on buffalo sauce in here, which yes, Frank's is in it, of course that's been in it. Of course, of course. But loads of butter, that's why it's so thick. It's because it's got so much butter in it. Um, Beautiful. Loads of honey. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we've got our buttermilk ranch and then Cinnamon spice uh, cauliflower. Uh, spoiler, cauliflower is better than chicken for buffalo, but you know, I don't know. Is it? I think it is. I prefer it. So I have a thing about putting chicken on a pizza. It's probably the one thing I won't do, but that's your pizza. So you can touch it. How do we feel over there? It feels kind of weird. It does feel it. Yeah. yeah. It dries out. Right, okay. So it's all about trying to get it super, super crispy. Yep. So we get our buffalo sauce on. We've got cauliflower, loads of cinnamon, some confit garlic, we use confit garlic and everything in here. Yeah. Oh, we grate this one ourselves, it's aged mozzarella, so it's like a, a local block mozzarella, but we grate it by ourselves to get the right kind of grate and the right consistency. And we go straight on the deck. This might just be the crisp, the crispiest base I've ever seen in my life. Just a few minutes behind and just get them all at the same time. Honestly, I promise you, this guy is doing the best kitten shit with pizzas. Your Jesus. Jesus. I don't know that. Look at it. Oh, this is just an experiment as well. Yeah. It was, I made this and I was thinking that is something that a guy from Manchester might like. <laughs> it's very difficult to review a place that is like a full on 10 because you can't, you can't help but smile. I've not, I've not stopped smiling. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that is poor. So. Cool. You grab some pepperoni. Please, thank you. It's a terrible technique, guys, with live pepperoni. Would you grab the wooden peel as well, please? Just the wooden one? Big one? There you go. Kind of import too much stuff, but, you know, Parmigiana Reggiano yeah, yeah, yeah. is worth it. Yeah. I'm just sort of like... Fuck it up! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it up! <laughs> look, <laughs> look at the state of it. Joke. What you're doing here is frankly a joke. It's just pizza. No, it's not. <laughs> it's more. Mm. 
It is special. It's so special. Oh well. Mm. Mm. Cheers, Stephen. Mm. It's emotional. How how good this is. I can't, I can't. Please come to file, everyone, now. Homemade limoncello. I believe we started with 95% alcohol. 95? Yeah, he's ended up down here, so we don't have shot glasses, just get the ramps. Yeah, it's fine, yeah, just get, just get in a pot for me. Yeah, Cheers, good. bro. You don't have to have all of it. <laughs> smells, smells lovely. Yeah. It smells really nice. Yeah, there's the lemons there. It is really nice, <laughs> but also it does leave that little thing on your tongue. It's that like little alcohol flavor at the end of it. Yeah. More than just an alcohol flavor. Yeah. That's it. That's listen. That's going to fuck me up, and that's going to ruin the rest of this video. So, <laughs> thanks, Jack. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> After service, we headed down the road to Ned's Bar for a few pints of Guinness and a chat. The team Pete has assembled at Flout all share his passion for food, and it's such a special environment. Cheers to the guys for letting me come in and film. After a few pints, we said our goodbyes, and I headed back to the hotel. So, normally me and Sarah go to loads of different food spots, and we tell you the best fucking places to go. But this time, I am telling you, if you're in Belfast, you need to go to flout pizza, the fucking pizza is a joke. It's a joke. I've had an amazing night. Like we went for beers afterwards with all the uh, with all the staff. Like honestly, I cannot tell you enough that this place is fucking amazing. They've not paid me a fucking penny to say this. I am just fucking flabbergasted with how good it is. So please go there. We're going to go to a place called The Pocket, which I went to last time, which is an amazing sort of brunch, um, which is right next to Bittles Bar. And then I'm going to go maybe grab a few pints. I'm meeting, I'm also meeting my wonderful wife, Sarah, who's flown out with my daughter um, this morning. So we're going to, we're going to go for, for breakfast together. And yeah. Um, I'm going to try and get in as much content as I can. It's going to be a much shorter vlog this, obviously, because I've got stuff to do. But uh, I'll do my best, and uh, yeah, let's do it. The Pocket is a cool brunch spot offering an array of breakfasts with a bit of a twist. Located right next to Bittles, there's almost always a wait for a table. I went for the eggs with their special green sauce, and Sarah went for their fry-up. I think it's chili ketchup, so I'm going to taste it see if it's spicy, mm. okay? That green sauce mm -hmm. is so good. Wow. Good to try. Oh. And the bread's amazing. That's brilliant. After that, I wanted to try somewhere a little bit off the beaten track for a Guinness, and a lot of people recommended the Three Seas Club. It's at the back of a car park, and you need to ring the buzzer to be let in. The Guinness was great, and it was a proper working man social club. Load of old boys smashing pints, reading the racing post, and betting on the nags. This pint was £4, which was insane. Kelly Cellars is much more of a tourist attraction, but that is not a bad thing. The vibes in here are excellent, and the pint is superb. £5.20 in here. Madden's Bar is probably my favourite of the bunch though. Only £5 for a pint too, it had it all. Great vibes, live music and delicious creamy pints.
I was getting peckish, so headed over to Common Market, home to plenty of independent food vendors, including one of my favourite burger joints in the city, Smash Bros. This place is so special. We got the classic double smash burger along with wings and fries. The perfect filthy food to soak up all that Guinness. The patties have a stunning crust and the flavour is outrageous. Another must visit if you're in Belfast. My daughter loved it too and the hall just had a buzzing atmosphere. I headed to the Ulster Hall to watch our fighter Chef Clark win. All in all, a very special day. I fucking love Belfast. There's so much more to this city than I've given you. I promise you that, but definitely come here, man. This is fucking wicked. We have just had a tremendous time at Belfast Zoo and now we're going to go back to White's uh, to get a bit of food, a pint. We have, we have this little munch kit with us. White's is one of the oldest pubs in Belfast, first opening in the 1600s. I wanted a more traditional Irish stew, which was really warming and wholesome, and Sarah got the fish and chips. This place is just a really nice way to spend an afternoon. £5.95 for a pint, and it was really, really nice. Mm. Okay. That's so good. Uh, last drink of the trip, and it is a pint of harp, which is a lovely, really nice um, Irish lager. Uh, brewed quite local, I think, um, and we've had a really nice time. Unfortunately, it's not been a full vlog. We will do a full vlog here. We will come back and we will... Without you know, a child. Without a child and without me having to do a bit of work and we will smash the shit out of the city. But hopefully, um, the couple of recommendations that we've, 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 we've given will, um, will help you when you're here. Flout Pizza, incredible. Smash Bros, incredible. Uh, the pocket, really good breakfast. Sarah, in fact, has just been there again to pick up um, her favourite cake. What is it? A 15. A 15. What's in it? What's in the 15? Coconut digestive biscuits, marshmallow and cherries. And I've just had a bite of it and it's bloody lovely. And Luna has a... Show your brownie, my love. What have you got? Brownie. What brownie? It's an Oreo brownie. My favourite biscuit is Oreo. <laughs> so this is my daughter. I don't think I've ever introduced her on the channel. Her name's Luna. She's wonderful. Uh, she has an Instagram called Little Scrams, where we cook stuff together. Um, you like Little Scrams, don't you? <laughs> anyway, we've really had a nice time in Belfast. Um, sorry, it's not. I, again, apologies. It's not being a full, extensive city guy that we normally do, but. Um, <laughs> but um, we will have another one coming we've got plenty of the city breaks coming up uh, this year uh, so keep subscribing keep following the page and uh, we'll see you soon cheers <laughs>